Today I'm here to tell you a story, but it's not mine. Ashwin Sethi, a 36-year-old man, came to meet me backstage after a 60-minute homage show. And what he said to me filled my heart with the affirmation I needed. He said, for the first time in 36 years, he felt understood. He had become the performer he saw on stage. And that story that played out to timeless classical music with gravity-defying aerial arts and fluid contemporary movement had resonated with his dilemma from back in his youth when he was a closeted gay man. His guilt, his struggle, his confusion. And as he watched, for the first time, he had felt his final reconciliation with himself. His journey and that of the protagonist had been transformational. In life, we all want to be understood or to understand our true purpose. So for me, this man and his vulnerability was a loud reminder that we at Omajo are on our righteous path, that our destiny is to create art, one with a genuine desire to enhance and envision transformation. This was it. As creative directors of Omajo, we were touching souls. The young Indian artists on stage who had spent 10 years in developing and excelling at a craft had found their way into the contemporary identification of life in India today. As Ashwin hugged the artists and he shared his experience with each one, my mind drifted back to the beginning, to the forests of Goa, which had given us such beautiful years ahead where every day we would build our castle, and every day we would break our castle. And with this daily and deliberate rebirth of sorts, we had been in the preparation to find a new language of movement, diving into the depths of art forms from the West, and infusing into those forms our rich cultural heritage. he had witnessed Indian performers on stage, and each one could dance away his joy, and each one could flip out his pain, or skip into the sky, or swim in the air, or contortion out his fears. With such ease, the artists had become the ultimate shapeshifters, staying true to the emotional graph, so that Ashwin could live through them. Etching a transformational evening must be captured on camera, so we all posed for a selfie, and we smiled. And he very naturally proclaimed, you know, guys, I weeped through most parts of the show. It would have been easier for me to just pat him on the shoulder and feel fairly accomplished. But when the mind is flooded with thoughts, you just have to sit and watch. The show was a natural progression and a tale about a man. Each chapter depicted through a unique dance language, seamlessly blended with circus arts and intense physical theater experience. All of this told through artists who were well-formed and multi-skilled. The movement definitely had Western technique, but had nuances of Indian classical expression. Possibly that's what connected Ashwin to the character, mudras, unconsciously embedded, gestures gently persuading him to become one with the artist on stage, to feel so deeply connected that he was overcome by pure emotion, intuitive and raw. Human beings are capable to connect on deeper planes, and art is a catalyst for that interaction, one that alternates on a, it, it, it vibrates on an alternate medium, one being to another. Though one sat on a seat, and the other performed a multiple range of skill. Omaja's unique language, where every performer can portray physical poetry and exhibit complex language of movement, which frolics on the stage, flies in the air, faces fear in the face, and feels the moment in entirety. Ashwin had experienced the gift of craft. The artist had experienced the gift of craft, a craft that takes time to develop and then seizes time to exist at all. 
The commitment to the moment had encompassed details that had been developed and studied during the days in the forest, facets of production design, lighting, technical mechanisms. And this knowledge had erased the separation between the artist, the skill, the apparatus, and the audience, a unison to uplift and create a shift for performer and viewer. Ashwin had clearly recognized his shift, and for me, that was a decade well spent. A decade in experimentation, innovation, artistic development, soulful struggle, but above all, a love for the craft and its gift of infinite possibilities. As I said goodbye to Ashwin, it hit me. I had seen his face before. When the show had ended and we all stood in a line to take a bow and the theater was throbbing with applause, I took it all in. And as I saw the faces of the audience, they were in touch with their inner joy. And in that moment, in my heart, I felt the sweet swelling of pure love. No thoughts, no malice, no judgment. A burst of pure emotion, intuitive and raw. After 10 years of 24-7 effort to make every minute of a 60-minute act an act of transformation, we are ready now ready to take this Indian-inspired form from India all over the world. And we need you, because you are the creators and the builders who know the power of transformation. And you can accelerate our journey and together shape the future, producing a powerful impact in the pursuit of excellence and transmitting the value of art in this fast-paced world. My name is P.R.I. Chaudhary co-founder Omajo Performing Company. This is not my company. This is my passion, this is my purpose, and this is my life. <laughs>